Happy Nest and welcome back to Smarter Every Day. If you're like me, you've spent a ton of your life on a lawnmower and you've been thinking about how the blade interacts with the blades of grass. So today on Smarter Every Day, we're gonna look at the physics of what that blade is doing on the lawnmower. <laughs> I'm trying not to hit stuff, sorry. <laughs> and then we're gonna, I don't know, whatever. I'm just excited, let's do it. Okay, I don't know if you know this, but every time you start making a video outside, your neighbors always turn on the lawnmowers. And for this video, I don't care, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's think about how things are cut. If you think about a piece of paper, what would you use to cut that? Scissors, right? Think about how scissors work. I've always thought scissors are ingenious. You've got two opposing blades that are pushing against each other, and they're causing shear stress at a localized area, which causes it to shear. You fail that very slight point on the paper, and then you move that failure front down the line, right? Pretty cool. Similar to ripping, but it's way cooler than that. If you think about how we cut things, that makes the most sense because you have two opposing blades that are causing a localized shear stress. The thing that's interesting to me about mowing is that that doesn't happen. You don't have things like this. Like imagine something that would cut things like this with opposing blades. That would be like a barbershop clipper, right? So the barbershop clipper has blades that move back and forth and they create a localized shear stress. A lawnmower blade is different though. There's no opposing blades. It's like an open-ended system, right? You've got this massive blade with a lot of inertia and it swings along really fast and it hits the grass, but the grass is so lightweight, it kind of just moves out of the way, right? Like if you think about this, it's a kind of a dull blade, like hitting this paper, it doesn't cut it, right? I guess you could, okay, I feel like, see it ripped it, and that was an inertial type tear. But think about what's going on here. In order to cut this grass, you have to like really be screaming, unless you could support the grass at the other end. If you could hold the grass up, for example, if you had somebody that was just holding that grass just like that, you could come along with a blade, and you could swing it really fast, and then it would be a lot easier to cut. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna take a standard push lawnmower and I wanna cut the front off so that we can look inside the front of the deck and see if we can see the grass being cut and understand more about what's happening. So lawnmowers are dangerous. Obviously, don't modify your lawnmower. I've got a buddy Trent here. What's up, Trent? Trent um, is an engineering student. He also helps me with mowing and high-speed cameras. And apparently, he just mowed with the high-speed camera fan, dude. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't hear that. <laughs> All right. It's terrifying. I did the calculations. The tip of the blade's going about 200 miles per hour, but there's gotta be more we can learn here. I know it has to do with cutting and airflow and waste management after you cut the grass and all that stuff. And I tried to figure out like what expert I could go talk to. And the more I thought about it, I said, you know what? My barber's a smart dude. He does all those things. And sure enough, he gave me the aha moment. Lawnmowers suck up the hair. As, at the, so there's airflow. The vacuum of it sucks it up, which it causes it to be even, and it cuts it off even. So it pulls the grass up. Now, if I use these clippers on you, it's vacuum. So it'll be more even. And it's going to pull the hair to the vacuum and cut it. So is that the tab on the top of the lawnmower? That's to create airflow to suck the grass up. Exactly right. All right, here's the deal. I'm 36 years old and I've studied aerodynamics and I've spent the better part of my life on a lawnmower. But my barber just taught me that that tab on the back of the lawnmower blade is for lift and the purpose of that is to pull the grass blades up so that it can cut. And this all makes perfect sense and I'm ashamed that I just now learned this. So 
This is my bigger mower. It's still got the lift tab. I think what we did on the other one is we kind of deuced up the airflow because we cut that front section off. So the air doesn't flow like it's supposed to. So it actually push, pushes the grass down. I think if we get high speed video of my big mower and, and we can look into that, that grass discharge deck, we should be able to see it pulling the grass up and cutting it, maybe. Let's try that. Okay, this is the handheld lawnmower. Uh, this is dumb. Here we go. We're going to try it. Holy moly. Do it. Go. Go fast. I don't think I did a good job. If you look close, you can see that the grass is pulled up because of the blade's lift. It's easier to see if you focus on a single blade of grass. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the macaws in the Amazon rainforest. Oh, with the feathers on the back of their backs? Yeah, when they would when they would push down, the feathers would lift up, yeah. and that's exactly what this uh, the grass is doing. No? I wonder if, it, if you had a longer tab, if you had better cut, if you had a better cut. Yes, but it would also take more energy to turn the blade because you have more resistance because lift and drag are proportional, right? So the shape of the deck matters. So it's controlling the airflow. <gasps> Look at that. The air is flowing in around the bottom of the deck and it's flowing out the discharge chute. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of physics here. For example, when the blade starts to spin, as it speeds up and goes through different flow regimes, like you get the spaghetti grass blade effect over the blade until it rips it. And then there's this other thing that happens when the, the back lift tab starts to straighten the blades up and it cuts it. That's a whole different thing. Here's the deal. The reason I wanted to look at my lawnmower is there's a guy named Rodney who's going to every state and he's mowing yards for people who can't do it. The elderly, veterans, it's a good thing. He's a good dude and I interviewed him and everybody's interviewing him right now, but it's on the second channel. Go check that out. Also, I want to do a whole series on lawn tools. If you have any questions you want answered and I, I may be able to do it with my tools here. If you have questions, leave comments below and let's just look in more detail and let's do like the Amazon series and stuff. Let's do a whole series on lawn equipment. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's do that. Lawn tool series. I have no idea why I didn't think of this before. I'm excited about that. Okay, you're smart. You know how internet videos work. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, but you're also smart enough to know if I'm just talking about a sponsor to get money for Smarter Every Day, or if it really means something to my family, which HelloFresh does. HelloFresh is a meal kit delivery service that will send meals directly to your house. You can go to the website and you can pick whatever works for you. There's three different types you can choose from, classic, veggie, family. They will get the ingredients together and send them to your house. There's a super simple card. You just follow the instructions and you will make a fantastic dinner right there for your family. My wife loves it because it teaches her how to cook and I help. For example, this is me operating Spoon Cam 3000. Aren't you supposed to use tongs or something? Do you want me to go back and use tongs? <laughs> no, no, I don't. You can pick your delivery date, like whatever day of the week you want. You can pause it if you go out of town. You can make a simple, awesome meal in 30 minutes, even if you have no idea what you're doing. For $30 off your first week of HelloFresh, visit HelloFresh.com and enter Smarter at checkout. Straight up, no lie, I'm sitting here shooting this ad for HelloFresh and my wife walks in with HelloFresh. Did that just happen? It did just happen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm trying to hide. Do you like HelloFresh? I do like HelloFresh. Okay, is it real? Like everything I've probably said that you didn't hear, you think is real? <laughs> probably. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Smarter Every Day and it earned your subscription. That was the point. We have started the Lawn Tool series, so feel free to subscribe to Smarter Every Day if you want to see more stuff and leave comments below for your suggestions. Anyway, I'm Destin. You get smarter every day. Have a good one. I got grass. Oh, man. We got a grass issue. Don't get in the camera. There we go.